back in the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to make a 110 micro Henry coil for 80 meters. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a, a, an end fed half wave shortened version for a small garden, um, and I'm going to make the the, uh, the loading coil for it. Um, I'm using I don't know 20 mil or perhaps 22 mil um, conduit. I'll measure it and we'll find out. Right, let's have a look. Twenty five mil. Is that, uh, is that focused? I don't know. So it's twenty five mil conduit, and uh, we'll just uh, go across to the the calculator. And we'll work out how many turns of one mil uh, hard pulled copper I need to uh, make a 110 micro Henry coil so open a browser navigate to uh, 66pacific.com and go to the uh, coil inductor calculator uh, we're going to guess here so we're going to stick in 200 uh, turns uh, our former as we know is 2.5 centimeters or 25 millimeters um, and because we're using one millimeter uh, copper um, then obviously the core length is going to be um, a tenth of the number of turns, um, so 20 centimetres. And I hit the calculator and we can see that it's uh, the induction is 116 microhenries. Uh, so if we shorten the number of turns, or lessen the number of turns to 190, um, so obviously the length is going to be 19 centimetres. And uh, we come up with the correct amount, that's lucky. Um, so there we go. Uh, so that's how many turns we require. 190 turns on a 2.5 uh, centimetre former. <laughs> Cut me hand off. <laughs> Let's go and get me thing. Oh, did anyone spot the deliberate mistake? It wasn't deliberate, but it was a mistake. I didn't pass it through the tube first. So this has now become an external one. Okay, so we have 190 turns on this 25 mil former. I uh, just drilled a hole here and I'm just about to cut it and feed it through. So bear with me a second. Make that just 
pop. Okay. Let's see if we can get this coil nice and tightly packed. There we go. So that's some good nick. Zoomed in. Uh, 90. Uh, well, that's close enough. Wanted to be 110, really, but uh, 90 is close enough for this particular exercise. It just means that the um, the 80 meter leg. Uh, instead of being a metre and a half long, we need to be a me two metres long. So it's not the end of the world. Um, it's fine. Okay. It has enough in, um, enough Henry's. <laughs> it has enough uh, um, value to uh, to work. Cool. Right. So chapter 15.4 gives you the, uh, the figures and dimensions. Um, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the number of turns because it doesn't give you the, uh, the, the former diameter there. Um, but certainly I've shown you how to do that. And the book shows a 49 to 1 transformer um here's a 49 to 1 we can count that yes it is oh no it's not actually let's have a look one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so 64 to 1 okay cool so here we go is the uh, the wire rope <laughs> as you can see it's, it's more like uh, wire string but there we go wire rope uh, with the 
eyelet on the end connected to the uh, the side of the unun or transformer it's a 60 foot one i'm sure you see me build them uh, i've then looped it into an eyelet so that the strain can be taken off the cable and that runs just up to a it's a 10 foot or 12 foot pole and from there it goes to the corner of the house now let me just take you to there okay so it's up to the top of the mast where the um the serial game master sits and i'll come back from there as you can see next to the diamond so that's a 510 and then comes down and there's the the coil i made shortened coil and then from there we've got another one and a half meters of the cable just before a uh, dog bone is put in. in this particular case is about one and a half meters maybe two meters um, and from there back to the transformer is 20.5 meters so it's a half wave on 40 meters anyway let's go and see how SWRs So, on the 80 meter band, 80 meter band, uh, yeah, it's good from, um, well, pretty much the whole of the band is within, so that's good news. And on the 40 meter band, yeah, again, it doesn't move. Uh, let's try 20. CW. And these are arbitrary frequencies. So 1.6, 1. 1. yeah, 1 to 1. 1.6, and at the bottom of the band, it'll be quicker to just wang the wheel around. Yes, it will. So let's take it where there's no one playing. Yeah, so there we are. So the uh, the end fed half wave is pretty good throughout the entire band. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, the best of the rest of the day. Bye. Yeah, check, David. 73. 